The points 1, comma, r and 6, comma, negative 8 lie on a line with a slope of negative 3. Find the missing coordinate r. So to find the missing coordinate um, of r, we're going to start by plugging all of our given information into the slope formula, which is shown here in blue. So all the information, including our slope. So when we do that, we're going to get m, which is negative 3. Remember that the variable m is used to represent slope. So we have negative 3 equals y2 minus y1. We take the second y minus the first y, which in this case is negative 8 minus r, over the second x minus the first x, which in this case is 6 minus 1. Now if we simplify uh, the, denom uh, the denominator from here, we have negative 3 equals negative 8 minus r over 6 minus 1, which simplifies to 5. Now we have an equation set up and we can solve for r. So our first step um, in solving for r is to get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by 5. And then that gives us 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. And then on the right side, the 5s cancel out. We have negative 8 minus r. Now we're going to add 8 to both sides to uh, get r by itself. Negative 15 plus 8 simplifies to negative 7. So we have negative 7 equals negative r. Now just divide both sides by negative 1, and we have 7 equals r. So now that we know that 7 equals r, our um, coordinates are 1, 7, and 6, negative 8. And to verify that we did this correctly, we can actually find the slope um, find the slope between these two points using the slope formula. So if we did that quickly, we would get... Um, let me just put this in a different color. How about we put this in black? If we did that quickly, we would get m equals y2 minus y1, which is negative 8 minus 7, over x2 minus x1, which is 6 minus 5. Or, um, and this simplifies to negative 15 over 5, which is negative 3. So we have verified that... Um, these are the correct points, so R must equal 7.